Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Ruby Dragon on here, and guys, today we have Pyrus Cycloid to look over. I am very excited for this, guys, because Cycloid was in the original series. Of course, he was Subterra, and you know what happened to Subterra with this series. And they brought him back, guys, and I believe Pyrus is his main faction, so this is going to be epic. Um, he looks amazing already, guys. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at that nice little picture up there. Dang, he looks a lot different than he did in the... Um, original series, and I mean a lot different, um, which looks really cool, I actually kind of like this design of Cycloid a little bit more than the other one, um, I guess it's just because I never really had the Cycloid toy when it first came out, but this is awesome guys, this is really cool, so on the back here guys, we got a nice picture of Cycloid right back there, of course guys, you get a character card, a gate trainer card, and then two backer cores, and let's take a look at all the stuff you guys can get in this new wave, including that beautiful Diamond Nilius, which I hope I can find here um, soon, uh, hopefully when this whole thing is blown over, maybe I'll find him. But who knows how long that's going to take. So alright guys, let's go ahead and get this guy open and just see how awesome he really is. Alright everybody, so here we have Cycloid out of the packaging and oh man. Boy does he disappoint. <laughs> um, toy wise, not really disappointed at all. Um, I'll go over the toy here in a second. But um, stat wise and for the card... Um, Dang. <laughs> Only 300 B power and 7 damage. So, he'd go pretty well, I guess, with a um, Mac Mock deck, I believe. Maybe he would go really well with that. Um, with two shield cores, I mean, that's not too bad. But, um, that 300 is just ill. That <laughs> 300 is just ill. Um, he does come with a uh, Pyrus and Darkest plus 400 B and a regular plus 150 B. Uh, shield. Um, the Pyrus Darkest one, it's meh because you're it's well just going just to the two factions and the plus one fifty. It's just like just just need to chuck it out of here. I'm not gonna chuck it out of here though because then I have to go up and get it. <laughs> um, here is the Pyrus um, Gate Trainer card um, with Dan and a nice picture of Drago up there, and of course the awesome Pyrus faction. Which if I ever decide to get a tattoo, that's what I'm probably gonna get first. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, here is Cycloid, guys, in his ball form. And he looks really cool. Um, the design, I feel, for the ball form at least, kind of has a Gortheon-esque feel to it. I do not have a Gortheon with me to kind of, like, show. But that's kind of how the uh, body looks like. And I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, but it looks pretty cool nonetheless. I like the orange color on it, that yellow-orange or whatever. little green for the little fingers. And, um, right there is his head. And, of course, the arrow's right there. And he has one, two, and three points for the Bako Gear, the Nano Bako Gear. Um, so, all right, guys, let's go ahead and roll him out and just see how awesome he looks. All right, everybody, so here is Pyrus Cycloid out of his ball form. And, guys, he looks amazing. Um, I would say for a core Bakugan, he actually looks really cool. In my, uh, at least in my opinion, he does. So, one cool little feature is, if you guys remember the uh, picture on the packaging, right there is the rest of his head. I know this little piece right here is his, is his head, so but they put the rest of like the design for his head right here on the side, which I think is really cool. Right there is his B power of 300, so, as I said, he's a 307, so he would do, I think, really well in a Mac Mock deck, but... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if someone can create a Mac Mock deck with uh, Pyrus Cycloid. That'd be really cool. Um, and as I stated before, he reminds me of Gortheon because he doesn't have like the back leg part here. So here I actually have, actually went, out, I actually got up and got a, a, a Gortheon here. So here, this is why they kind of remind me of Gortheon because they just have the, uh, the thing right there and everything. So the Gortheon just uh, kind of stands up a little bit. Anyways, guys, I think it's really cool. He has a green eye right there, just as shown in the packaging. Um, and guys, to fold them up, uh, be very careful because these are a little, these are very smooth. The, these pieces right here are very smooth, so he'll very easily just kind of just like pop out of my hand. So you just fold them up there, close the eye right there, and just fold them up like that. And there you, well, almost, almost. There we go. Now he's closed. So let's go ahead and see if we can roll them out here, guys. Uh, we're going to try this. Let's see. Like I said, very slippery, so he really, really, especially on this kind of surface. I unfortunately don't have a game mat yet. I need to get one. So, three, two, one. Bakugan, bro! 
And as usual, as I fail. So we're just going to go ahead and pop them open right here, guys. So here we go. Boom. All right. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you guys are going to pick him up for either for doing a Magma deck for just a kind of like a little, little fun deck, or we're just going to pick him up just for the figure. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more epic Bakugan content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.